Hi there. Well, I've got a lovely engine to share with you today. This is an Olsen and Rice 23. And it's an engine that's made in the US and it dates from 1946, I believe. So let's take a closer look at this. Well, these are great looking engines and they've got a really good reputation to go with that. Now, if we look here, we can see the, the hub for, that contains the uh, contact points and there's a lever here for the advancing and retarding of the ignition and there's the uh, connection there for the points. We can see we've got an integral fuel tank on the back, needle valve and the uh, rear entry venturi. Now this has got a, a Champion, I don't know whether you can see that, V2 plug in it. So it's kind of the, one of the, the middle sized uh, spark plugs that you got in these old uh, spark ignition engines. If we turn it round, you can see the size designation there, 23. And that I believe equates to about three and a half cc. If we just turn that round again, have a look at that. I really like the look of these engines. Well, I've never had this engine running. So there's one thing we've got to do. We've got to get it in the test stand and see if we can get it fired up, see how it runs. Well, I've got this lovely old Olsen and Rice 23 clamped in the test stand and I am really excited to see how it runs. I've never run this engine, so it's a new one for me and it'll probably take a little bit of setting up to get the needle and the uh, ignition timing just right, but I'm dead excited to see how it runs. And I've got a wooden top flight 10x6 prop, which is probably dated about the same era as the, uh, as the engine itself. So. I'll get this thing filled up and we'll see if we can get it running. Oh, too much, too much. Let's get that going again. Well, it's running. It, I had a little bit of problem at first and I've changed the, uh, the spark plug and it seems to be running a lot better. The needle valve, <laughs> as with all these old sparkies, is really, really sensitive. I think what I'm going to do, I think it run better with a slightly smaller prop, so I'm going to be putting on a 12 by 5 and just see how that runs. out of fuel. Well, that ran lovely in the end. Well, we got this running sweet in the end. What, about 7,500 RPM on this 12 by 5 Certainly liked a smaller size prop. And um, I think I need to have a look at the ignition timing and just check the, uh, the contact gap because this seemed overly sensitive to me. It didn't seem quite right. Also, I'm going to have a look at the needle valve because that as well didn't seem to be responding perhaps how it should do so i know a lot of these old sparkies are quite sensitive to the needle valve but um, 
we'll have a look anyway and we'll have to get this back in the test stand at a future date but I quite enjoyed running that and I thought in the end it was nice and I enjoyed seeing it and I hope you've enjoyed watching it as well thanks very much